Uh, I'm doing mine on drinking because I couldn't figure out anything else, and that's pretty much what I do all the time. And yeah. <coughs> my experiences. This is me and my buddy after a really hard night of drinking. And then everybody knows when you get drunk, you always do something that you don't want to do. Like my friend changing clothes with a girl in the bathroom, he came out in her pants and bra and everything. And then, uh, this is, oh, my bad. How are you supposed to go back? Back space. This is, uh, my friend changed clothes with the girls, and that's my friend Gary and my friend Brian licking his boobs. And then, uh, everybody knows when you have a fat party, you always go on beer runs and everything. And that was the first beer run that we had in one night. And then we went about like four times. And everybody knows when you don't like, most people don't like beer or the taste of it. You always got the bitter beer face. And then uh, last New Year's Eve, uh, we had a pretty huge party. And that was the first beer run that we had was covering beer. And then we went back and got more. And when you always have too much to drink, you always puke. Always. Everybody knows. That's my friend Mike Jones after drinking like a whole bottle of vodka. Uh, and my friends, all we always use is beer bong, because it's always good to use, I guess, at a party, get drunk. And then, that's the end. thing that interests me a lot is tattoos because I just got one myself. Uh, I'm doing history tattoos. Uh, they've been tattooing for about like 5,000 years. Like I got on the internet and I looked and uh, it goes all the way back to like Egyptian and all that stuff. And it said when a person is mummified and uh, disturbed from their pyramids, they wear tattoos, like when they get put in there. And then there's different types of tattoo guns. Like this one's like a homemade one, like prison style one. And then there's the like full metal ones that they use in the shops and everything that they pay for. And types of tattoos. There's tribals, you know, you see everybody that always has like the weird designs and tribals on their arms and everything. And customer ones that you never see, like, there's like one in like a million, you know, like some people that have like different types of tattoos are different. And there's realistic ones like uh, off Steve-O, he's got his face tattooed on the back of it and they're like photographs like that. And there's a tribal one like that. Right And then there's difference in needles is uh, there's a one and is mainly for the outlines for of the tattoo. And then there's five and that's for like coloring and shading mostly. Most of the coloring is made of five. And then 12 for the bigger is the sh bigger shading, like the bigger tattoos and uh, bigger coloring. And the higher the number gets, the more needles it has in between it, like come down at it. And pros and cons. One of the positive things about getting tattoos is a way to express yourself. Like some people get their like family shield tattooed on them or their name, something that means something to them. And then one negative thing is that uh, you do the impulse tattoo buying and you usually regret it. And when you get older, like when you get like skulls tattooed on you or something like that, you regret it when you get older. And the price of tattoos and tattoo shops. Usually, the average price is like $100, like over at Skin Arts or anything like that. And usually, some, like, some people get discounts. It's like $60 an hour. 
And uh, if you get expensive shops, they're usually like 150 to like, you know, $200. And like when you go down south, like down to San Diego, where all the popular ones are, they're like 300, $200 an hour. Uh, let's see.